HPV, or human papillomavirus, is a common virus that newly infects about 14 million Americans each year. There are around 100 types of HPV, with nearly a third affecting the genitals of both men and women. HPV can also lead to the development of cervical cancer. But did you know HPV is also linked to oral cancer? Medical oncologist Jessica Geiger, MD, explains how HPV can lead to oral cancer and how it's treated. So one type of cancer that is often grouped in with oral cancer is HPV-related head and neck cancer. Now, HPV is an oral infection that poses a risk to developing cancer, specifically in the oropharynx, which is in the back of the throat. It involves the tonsils and the base of the tongue. Um, and it's due to an oral infection caused by HPV. A note about HPV-related cancer, the most important way to prevent an HPV-related cancer is by far vaccination. So HPV vaccines have been well studied and approved for almost well over 10 years, 15 years. Very well known that HPV vaccines prevent not only genital warts and cervical cancer in women, but also head and neck cancer and HPV-related throat cancer. Um, while the vaccines are approved for both men and women up to age 45, vaccination before exposure is the key. And so that's why we recommend that children are vaccinated around the age of 11 or 12 before they ever have any sexual contact or sexual activity. For many who contract HPV, the virus simply goes away and they never know they had it. For others though, the virus can linger for years, even decades, before developing into cancer. While the cancer itself is slow to develop, it spreads quickly often to the lymph nodes. HPV-related throat cancers can also be hard to detect because symptoms overlap with other conditions. Those include, but aren't limited to, swelling in the neck, swollen lymph nodes, ear pain, painful swallowing, sore throat, and vocal changes. Once the cancer reaches the lymph nodes, those lymph nodes tend to swell. This is often the symptom that leads to a diagnosis. HPV-related cancer is often approached in the same manner as other head and neck cancers. Uh, we have surgery, we have radiation, we have chemotherapy or other medicines that go all throughout the body to treat cancer. And we often do have to use a combination of two or more of those therapies in order to cure the cancer. The good news is that most people who develop HPV-related throat cancer respond well to treatment. Around 90% receive a favorable prognosis. Receiving the HPV vaccine, regular dental visits and screenings are all essential parts of prevention and early detection that can keep you healthy.